Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Commercial UAV Expo 2024 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm speaking to Eli over at the Copter Bix booth. How are you doing, Eli? Uh, hi, how are you? I'm very good, thank you, thank you. Now, I came by your booth because you've got a machine here I don't fully understand. It looks like a hexacopter, but I know there's more than that going on. What do we got here? You're right, this is a hexacopter, but this is a unique solution pilot hybrid drone. This is the first drone ever powered by direct drive of gasoline engine, working together with electric motors that provide the lift by the gas engine and the stability from the electric motor. This is this unique enable us to do extraordinary performance. We're doing 20 kilo of payloads with two hours of flight time. So and it's going to be scaled up up to 50 kilo for the next year. And for a year after that, we're going to do release a version for 100 kilo. Wow. So what do you see as being the primary use case for this aircraft? And mainly it's going to be for infra infrastructure and, and then uh, can be shipped to shore, heavy load, payload delivery, uh, first responder for a disaster area and so on. Now obviously a gasoline engines and you've got a gas tank right on top of this thing, that's clear. But I mean, are, can the batteries hold out for two hours? The gas engine also charge the battery for the electric motor during the flight so it can sustain, it. as long as you have the gas, you can operate the drones. Fantastic. So how is it you're able to maintain stability when some of your propellers are being driven by gas engines but the rest are being driven by electricity? This is the main challenge since the gas engine have a low response to a turtle delay and also it do not stay stable during flight. This has been covered by the electric motors and we had to develop a unique computer to stabilize all those uh, components together. But you did it. Yeah, you can, you can see in the video, it's flying perfectly. <laughs> So you, you mentioned the development cycle it's on and you're upscaling it. Um, if, if somebody wants to get a hold of one of these, when's it going to be available? This one, the 20 kilo, is going to be available in the next quarter. Uh, during the end of the year, we're going to release the 50 kilogram. And uh, next year, the, the year after, we're going to release the 100 kilo. So if somebody's interested in getting in touch with you to find out more about this or get one of these, how should they do that? We are online, of course, and we're also uh, doing a show here, and uh, they can uh, search for Copter Pricks on the web. So, I, maybe this is a little too inside baseball, but how long did it take you to make that thing work? Two years of my life, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's a thing of beauty, and it's certainly a novel approach. I mean, it's, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. Yeah. I, Eventually, at the beginning, I thought, this is a, you know, put two engine, stabilize everything, and it will take a month or two, you're going to finish it. But it was much more complicated than I originally thought, so I'm very proud of it. Oh, I'm, and you should be, I mean, and it's going to be a big step forward in terms of yeah. performance for the overall multi-rotor design. Well, Eli, thank you so much for sharing your creations. Thank you. And from the Commercial UAV Expo 2024 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew, signing off.